Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Finals of Blood Bowl 3. We've got Winner's Bracket Round 2. Um, Moomin Slayer with his Underworld versus Diomed with his Orcs. We can see that Moomin Slayer has chosen to receive. Probably going to Daka here. Got the pretty standard build of the Juggernaut Rat Ogre to help with the one turn. Sidestep Gutter Runner but hasn't stacked this, the two heads. And hasn't gone totally for the one turn, like Elliot totally sold out for the one turn build with the uh, extra arms thrower. Whereas Moon Slayer's gone for a halfway house, a protection, and a bit of one turning. Um, Diomed, just seen on stream, has got four guard biggins um, and then split the mighty blow and tackle. Uh, starting off with the thrower on defense, I seem to remember him doing this in another game as well. I really don't like it. Uh, this seems really like optimistic that you know you'll use his sure hands on defense when you could just have an extra armor nine I think well armor 10 plus so personally and and also by not starting him you ensure that you have your thrower for like the second half um, or for a quick drive so yeah I really don't like starting with the throw on defense here um, but fair enough like it's really really hoping to you know it's, I guess it's, you know, converting a nil-nil into a one-nil, isn't it? Uh, to me, that's not worth the extra armor and the guaranteed, you know, the knowledge of having him for your second half, basically. So here we go. Let's see how Diomed defends a Dakar again. Uh, he went he went really high contact with Elyod to stop it in their game. I totally paid attention to that game and knew that's what he did, and, and <laughs> now he combated the Dakar. <laughs> <laughs> but this time it's versus a full 11 from Moomin Slayer. Uh, with a with the Rat Ogre as well. And the Rat Ogre really helps open up holes for the Dakar. So it's a little... Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? This arrow formation here. Super interesting. So he just stays where he is right another turn here. No. Nope. Oh yeah, full 12. Yeah, sorry, full 12. Um, Alright. <laughs> Did he get unlucky with 12? Yeah, he could have had 13, couldn't he? He fielded two snotlings, so he could have had 13. So he was, he was unlucky, right? He, three plus, he gets 13. Like, not massively unlucky. But there was a good chance of having 13. So he's gone around the edges a little bit. Couldn't have done that versus a frenzy player before the uh, before the YouTube video started. We were talking on stream about the uh, the choice to go a tackle and a mighty blow. Lots of people go one tackle, one mighty, and I did quite like the idea of just going frenzy and then an extra guard. Seems quite strong. <laughs> so yeah, it does you know the something's work? Not actually protected, right? Could have mighty blowed this snotling. Didn't go for this snotling, but instead chose to push this guy onto the sideline. Uh. <laughs> and we've got the the classic stand next to somebody at the right ogre, but there is a gaping hole here. If he can, just needs two pushes, he does create the gaping hole. And I guess everything's going to go through already, but it's a instant GFIs and he's going through right in the middle and he's getting shut down from both sides was this trap space from Diomed and uh, it looks like it was as <laughs> he rolls a double one <laughs> with a GFI and may have already lost the game <laughs> instant fail Dakar oh dear oh dear oh dear Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Nice GFI, mate. Where'd you get it? Wow. Is he stunned as well? Obviously get the surf there. Yeah, but it's, it's just prone. The other guy's stunned. So, yeah, so he's got to put the tackle on it. Mr. Throw is there. So, can't get it. <laughs> Got 
conclusive proof that the dagger is terrible. Goes for the uphill. Uh, I, I like uphilling big guys constantly now. Uh, <laughs> Not unnecessarily, but I think it's it's oh god, it's so good to uphill them rather than just get you know smashed by a mighty blow. Um, so there you go. Didn't do any safe moves first. There were these three players. Um, I guess the play was to was to push him out of the way, then dodge the gutter out. Oh, maybe like up, maybe uphill, because he couldn't, he couldn't uh, like get anything but uphill because of the guard. So, I mean, this almost looks over already, just instantly, instantly. Because I mean, this takes away their one turn as well, right? Like, so now, if you can score on turn eight of their drive, then um, you know it, their one turn doesn't matter. You still win two one. So. This is huge. Another surf here. Flip me. This is a nightmare, yeah. <laughs> oh, Moomin Slayer. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no need to pause anymore, this one. We won't pause it and it'll it'll finish pretty quickly, maybe. It's not over, though. Don't say it's over. It's definitely not over, but... Uh, you know. There's no damage yet. There's no damage yet. Okay. <laughs> Yet. But now he's just lost, he's lost his gutter runner. <laughs> yep, there was there was no damage, but then the entire team got injured. <laughs> so uh, yep, <laughs> with uh, with Underworld, all of your eggs are in one basket, and that basket was just destroyed. <laughs> I mean, to me, this has already happened. <laughs> this has already happened. This has nothing to do with me uh, cursing anybody here. It had already happened. But, uh, wow. I mean, like, maybe the un the Underworld can stop the touchdown here and, and get in at nil-nil, and then, uh, you know, and then they, then they can... Wa oh, okay, they can't want to... <laughs> If the gutter hadn't died, maybe they could have stopped this score and uh, and then one turn, but their gutter's dead. So the one turn is not so likely with movement seven. Still possible, right? Still possible. Um, not many punter. Strider, Strider, Strider won his games, I think. I don't know. I'm trying not to do spoilers for the YouTube. You know, I'm going to try and put all these in order of... Uh, of more or less how they were played, so I don't want to really do spoilers for the YouTubes. Well, I think I'll do the winner's bracket first, then the loser's bracket. So then I'll know when I'm doing the loser's bracket, I can talk about the people, the four people who are through guaranteed to week two. No, no, sorry, I mean, you don't need to say sorry, because uh, I've, I've messed it up already plenty of times. <laughs> So he does a nice little chain there, doesn't he, to get the wrestle one D. Really nice from Moomin Slayer. Not giving up. Really, really nice chain there. Gets the power as well. Tucks him in, trying to get a good scatter. Man, imagine if, imagine if he had a gutter runner in this square, <laughs> who would have been like you know, double wand on the on the armor roll. He would have just been off. He would have been fully off and still scored. But um. That didn't happen. <laughs> His gut run is dead. And, uh... Yeah. But man, that would have been amazing if if, if he'd still had the... That was, that was a real cool move. Uh, maybe Sloppy by Diamond to have allowed it, right? It's always hard in these situations to know, like, how much is a good spot. I mean, it's probably a bit... Maybe it's a bit of both, right? You know, maybe it's a good spot. Or maybe it's, maybe it's like, always a good spot because, you know, there's, there's people that wouldn't have spotted it. So it's maybe always a good spot from the from like the defensive player, but then I guess there's a certain amount of responsibility on the offensive player to not allow good spots like that. But on the other hand, you know you've got to try and protect the ball, and and sometimes there's always going to be something on, isn't there? So this is a crazy fucking scatter. What the fuck? I mean, what the flip? Maybe I should try and be more family friendly now. That was crazy. So yeah, it's it's tough. You, you you know, I guess you can't you can't protect against everything, can you? So
<laughs> Old World Alliance. <laughs> Nobs. Nobs are the most miserable team to play. Unless you're Dimmy. Oh, there's a Kaz. But that might have been enough to stop the score. No, he's picked it up. And still got two rerolls as well. <laughs> Scatter was player of the month. Just <laughs> people failing to catch the ball. <laughs> Everyone likes knobs. Elliot, Elliot is terrified of them, though. Funnily enough. <laughs> Funnily enough. Elliot, terrified of knobs. <laughs> A lot more scared than everyone else, right? Everyone else had the Juggernaut Rat Ogre, and uh, Elliot only had the uh, only had the Troll. So the Stand Firm, big concern for Elliot. On a more serious note, you know, Imperial Nobility, it shortened to knobs. Uh, that is what Elliot's scared of, of course. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder if he should have been won over, right, to to make this cage or. Probably. Two, three, four. No, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe he could have been one out. Maybe you know. Maybe he's one out. If if you're not like if you're not penis caging, maybe he goes one out and goes totally wide. Oh, so he rolled a one, re-rolls it, gets it in. Flip me. So there you go. One nil. And actually, now he doesn't even need to score. Right? Him not scoring is the same as scoring and getting scored on. Oh, and there's heat, and the rat ogre is out. So there's no Rat Ogre and there's no Gutter Runner. <laughs> um, and there's 12 players total for the Underworld. Uh, he's, at, he's down a guard biggin. He has lost a guard biggin. But uh, I think you'll take that trade, won't you, as Diamond there, really? <laughs> I think you'll take that trade, really. A guard biggin for a Gutter Runner and a Rat Ogre. Not the best anti blitz setup. Could have, could have, could have been better, I think, but not terrible. Peanuts cage. There we go. Peanuts cage. Very good. So yeah, this is. Uh, it's almost all over, isn't it? It's, it's not a hundred percent over, but yeah, underworld without the gutter or the roger. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty horrendous. <laughs> He's got a tackle that doesn't do anything. Oh god, that's also a nightmare, isn't it? A tackle that doesn't do anything. And then he's got uh, two blocks and uh, two wrestles. Like, it's. There's no real skills to help here, is there? Throw everyone forward and base and hope for the best. And the next turn, when your stuns come back. Good question, Dr. the Dog. I would say 94.72% for Diamond. That's, that's honestly maybe a bit high, as ludicrous as this is. 1-0 up with, like, no outs at all. Like, it's still probably not even... Oh, yeah, Y Cage, of course. Yeah, yeah, Y Cage is... is yeah, it was Y Cage. So, honestly, maybe it's still only, like, something like 89.11%. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's. It feels like it's over ninety. Ninety-two point five three. It's it's really high, isn't it? Like what the flip do you do? Still got three rerolls. I guess that the bribe means he could just randomly start fouling and like Kaz with fouls. But like, how do you even get into this as the underworld? It's hard for you to make a two dice block. And now he's fouling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could start with a bribe fail. Nope, it's a success. That might have been an idea to argue the call there, because the bribe stops the turnover, right? And, and it was the end of his turn anyway. So while arguing the call has got less chance of saving your player than immediately using the bribe, 
Um, it might be prudent to save the bribe so that you can foul earlier in the turn on a later turn. But that's a very uh, that's a very uh, niche thing. Like normally you use the bribe, right? Because the bribe has just got more chance of stopping your player getting sent off and arguing the call. First, because you can do either one first. So if the bribe fails, you can still try to argue. But if you if you argue, then you can't use the bribe. Like right, if you fail the argue, you can't use the bribe. That's the thing. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> the, the 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 difference is basically the turn of them. Oh, here we go. Oh, you got a foul is good, huh? Yeah, exactly. So, but but just like just just positionally, right? You you could have a situation where you've got like a free four assist foul, so you just start your turn with a four assist foul, and then use your bribe to to cover it. Like niche case. Like I'm just talking hypothetically, you know. Just just a bit of hypothetical thing. So yeah, here we go. Can't make a two dice block. <laughs> just does a one D blitz. And then gonna try and foul it with like no assists because guard well, even if he even if he didn't have guard he couldn't stop the assist. Oh my god. It's just It's just awful, isn't it? It's just awful now for Moomin Slayer. Absolutely wrecked. I couldn't get the three D on him. So again, he's moving in with the Gar Biggins, using their Strength 4 and Gar to protect each other. Very powerful. Yes, exactly, Daily. Basically, it's pretty hard. Like, you know, games of Blood Bowl are really slow. Really, really slow. And uh, I am not, you know, a wordsmith by any means. I think I'm okay at thinking of things sometimes, but it's really hard to, like, just speak and speak and speak on the go. Like, honestly... Adam Savage, incredible at just constantly being able to speak and talk bollocks. No, not even bollocks, like good things. The crazy thing is he was talking good things all the time. Like, actually good questions. Like, crazy, really. I, I, was, I, was, un, I was mega impressed. Mega impressed by how, how, like, actually just good his questions were. Rather than just, you know, like, you know, they weren't even bad questions. You know what I mean? Like, the, fact, the volume of talking is quite something. Just to even get your words out, even if you had like a script or whatever, you know, and like you knew you knew everything that you were gonna say, it's still just hard to actually do it for hours and hours and hours. It is hard, honestly. I mean, maybe not for some other people, but I find it, I find it pretty difficult. Did they? Yeah, it's, I think honestly, I think this is good. I think this is really good for the uh, yeah Uber Blood Bowl. Honestly, I think this is really good for the community. I, I do. The, the best thing, the best thing about the official cast was just being able to be completely genuine with everything that I said. You know, because I actually, I'm hopeful for Blood Bowl three now. I wasn't just saying it because you know, I was. I, you know, they they they'd offered me the thing to be the caster. Like it genuinely, you know, like I haven't played for. I'm, you know, basically haven't streamed Blood Bowl three for ten months, have I? And and you know now I'm streaming it because I do think it's better. Eleven months basically didn't stream it for. So, well, I you say that, Elliot? It's better because I <laughs> help me <laughs> help me had the idea for the auto clicker. <laughs> <laughs> The auto clicker is amazing. That 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 solves the biggest problem, which is the endless clicking. And uh, the mods do that. The uh, I mean, I did just start. I did just start playing because of the cash prize, right? That that's why I started playing. Uh, there was a NAF format, and there was a cash prize. So both of those things are quite good, right? It's a lot easier to win five or six games of NAF than it is to grind out fifty games in a season. So. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll try and, you know, like play enough game, play Blood Bowl 2020 rules, you know? And, uh... <laughs> yeah. They, they are trying, man. It's not it's not identical to release. Look, they, they, they have made some, you know, functional improvements. They have. They have. Like, they've got these rings and stuff, haven't they? You know, they're, they're trying. It's not... It's not completely dead. Is it as much better as you would like for 10 months? No, obviously not. You would have liked to have seen more improvement um, from from where it was. Obviously, you would like to have seen more improvement in the last 10 months than what there has been. But 
they haven't abandoned it, have they? And, and the fact that they're doing this tournament, just the fact that they're doing this tournament shows that, that you know, they're not abandoning it, right? And they want it to be better. So at least this sh at least this shows that they want it to be better, right? And they want the people from Blood Bowl 2 and stuff to come back and, and you know, not give up on Blood Bowl. So... <laughs> For fuck's sake, Elion. <laughs> oh dear. I'll, shall I, I'm, I might message you some things Elliot, actually, uh, in private. But, uh... Oh, I, oh, I! <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I think... It is. <laughs> Honestly, Pedro, this is the best version of Blood Bowl that there has ever been or ever will be. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying they at least want it to be better, and they're trying. They're trying to win back the community with this with this tournament, right? And I think that's a good thing. It can only be a good thing. It can't be a bad thing that they're trying to win, win us back, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, Blood Bowl's got problems with being a video game anyway, right? Like, whatever you do, whatever you do, whether it's Fumble or whatever, um, you know, Fumble's obviously, like, the most rules-compliant version, and a lot of people would say the best playing, you know, completely. Honestly, I played Blood Bowl 2 over Fumble for a long time, right? And I know some people like Dimmy and Elliot have, have got on the Fumble train recently, but we played Blood Bowl 2 for a long, old time, when Fumble was still there with the new rules, didn't we? Do you know what I mean? So, so there's a lot of people want, you know, want the graphics as much as as much as Fumble has things going for it. Ultimately, people do want the graphics as well, don't they? Wow. Wow. I mean, this is a massacre. Absolute massacre. But he's still got one dice on the ball. <laughs> you can get to overtime with the, with the most completely useless team ever. <laughs> Looking underworld with no gutter runner, no no rat ogre, and hardly anybody else. <laughs> he's down to five players. Um, and he's got to overtime, hasn't he? This is turn sixteen. He's got to overtime. No, he hasn't. It's one. He's one nil down. Okay, this is the problem when you just talk bollocks for a million hours. Is that you lose? You completely forget what's happened and what you're talking about. He was one nil up at the end of the first half because he turned him over. So, no problem. Disregard the previous sentence. Errata. Errata. <laughs> it's hard to make an errata emote, by the way. It's actually really hard to make an errata emote. I tried. But it's uh, it's difficult. I mean, look, we all zoomed, we all zoned out of that fucking game about fucking eight turns ago, didn't we? It was over. It was <laughs> it was fucking over eight turns ago. So forgive me if I forgot what the score was. <laughs> it was one nil, um, two diamond. But he, you know, yeah, that's the thing. It was it was just. I mean, how much of it was a dicing? And how much of it was play? May I think maybe that was traps. That maybe that was a trap gap that Diamed left, right? That 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 gap that allowed the uh, Roger Blitz and then like a bunch of GFIs. Because even if they all worked, he would still have a cage that was about to get shut down on all sides by the Orcs. So maybe that was like maybe that's a thing to do, like you know, to leave that leave that player open, and obviously refuse that Blitz if you're Moomin Slayer. Like I would, I would not have gone for that gap. I, I would have just gone back another turn. I would have gone back another turn, and I just thought it was generally. I didn't like that he put the guys forward on the sides, uh, you know, which then got sidelined, and I didn't like going for, through that gap either. With it not being close enough, I think elves, you know, can do all the two plus dodges and everything, and movement seven and stuff. So uh, it's. 
you know, they, they they can outright you know wood elves with like catches. They can just punch so far through. I think you you've got to you, you know you've got to make your break through two turns with underworld right a lot of the time, um, or or really get clear with your gutter runner. Um, so yeah, back up and then and then try and try and break through over two turns or with a with a lovely clean break with the gutter. Yeah, I, I thought you were Moon Slayer. You know, I, like I, I didn't I didn't. Uh, I didn't like saying that you were Underworld Noob. I, I would class Art as an Underworld Noob as well. Like I don't know how many games obviously have you played. I think I think Art's only played about fifty games, which you know it's it's more than nothing. But it's also I'm sure it's not as many as Elliot. Well, I'm not sure actually. But Elliot seems like he's played more. He's played he played it in Blood Bowl two, didn't he? So he played a different rule set. I don't know how much he's played in in Blood Bowl two and stuff. There you go. So fourteen. So yeah, Underworld Noob. And you all know, got through here. Um, and this is uh, this so this is losers bracket um, in the second one right so this is still this is still good right so yeah about fifty games so yeah Eliad only played about so Eliad and Art about the same experience but a lot in tournaments for Eliad and, and Art was like the ladder with like it was all on one team that got like up to about sixteen hundred TV I think so like I didn't think Art's practice was that useful what I would have done if I was Art would have just been to make the team he was taking and then stockpile SPP and not spend it or like spend it on you know things that were that were uh, you know like maybe cycle things and stuff and, and try and keep the TV as low as possible purely to practice for this I think that would have been pretty good and yeah, Daco the Underworld is not easy. No, you you've got ultimate maneuverability, like or oh, what what is what it's called. But you've got like the the snotlings like can go anywhere they want, but they can only go five squares, can't they? So like while you you're not fast, even though you're essentially agile with them. So it is. I I can imagine it being tricky. And yeah, fourteen games before this is wild. And uh, yeah, that's a good point, Doctor the Dog. That's a that's a very good point. Really good one turning. He really has an eye for the one turning with with underworld and look got got through to the uh, losers bracket round two probably moment slayer has done and diamed is through to the winners bracket round three now uh, the winners bracket semi finals so you know good well congratulations diamed commiserations moment slayer not out yet because this was the losers bracket uh, the winners bracket sorry oh my god it's I can't even say a sentence. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.